welcome, welcome, welcome to Plans on Planning. Let me take the time to officially welcome you into 2019. Woo! Happy New Year! Yay! But before we get way too excited and get like far, far off track talking about how wonderful 2019 is going to be and all our goals and all our aspirations and things we're going to achieve and accomplish. Let's get down to business because we want to make sure we get not only those dreams and goals and aspirations accomplished, but that we're making sure they get done by keeping ourselves on track, focused, and on point. And to do that, I don't know about you, but I personally need to make sure that my planners are all the way ready to go monthly, weekly, the whole nine yards. So I want to get January my monthly spread down like nobody's business. And to do that, I have some wonderful sticker books to use. You see, I've marked off all the stickers that I want to use, those pages. I have some Heidi Swipe um, stickers that I found, and then I'm using some of these. But let's talk about the fabulous washi that I'm going to be using. Yes, this washi is so amazing. I personally love this washi here, and I feel like I don't use it enough. But when it comes to something that's so special, you don't want to overuse it. And then I have a little more glitz and glamour to go with it. So we have this funky little combination. But because this is a thick washi, if I can find the beginning of it, I'll show you. It's super thick. So, dark, gonna, I'm gonna find the beginning. It's super thick. So, oh, here we go. Maybe not. So, just doing a simple tear, it does kind of work. But if you need to go ahead and get out your sister, scissors and cut some straight lines, feel free to do that as well. But it does fit across my whole top, as you can see. So I don't have to worry about, you know, spaces and whatnot. Like, I can actually put this right on the bottom of it. But I don't think I'm going to put it on the bottom right here. I'm going to leave that little space available. I'm going to put it right under my numbers. I mean, right under my days of the week. So... It does tear pretty nicely. If you don't feel comfortable tearing, go ahead and get your scissors out, like I said. And then we're just going to do this side. And we're going to line that bad boy up. Not making it too taut. Darn it. Okay. If you're like me, I find it super annoying that, like, your pages shift as you're trying to line up the top like it drives me crazy like as soon as i line up the top see it gets kind of funky but we have scissors to take care of all of that there we go just clean clean it up just a tad bam and i'm gonna clean this up too which is seriously a little difficult because our january's there so i'm just flipping my book around Bam. Ha ha. Ah! It's stuck. Okay. All right. Back. We're back, baby. We are back, baby. All right. So, now we're going to go in. Sorry about that. Now we're going to go in with my washi that I'm going to use to frame out my weeks. So, where is the beginning of it? Okay, so clearly nothing's changed um, in the new year. I'm still having tons <laughs> of problems finding the beginning of my washes. All right, so I want to make this one under my days. So it's going right above my numbers. There we go. Now, one thing I did learn from last year was to take my time. Ah, there we go. All right. And if it doesn't work like I think it should, bust out the scissors. Ow. 
Bam. All right. Let's go into the next one. So we know that New Year's and New Year Eve, New Year's Eve is happening. Happy New Year. And everything is going to be fabulous and wonderful this year. We're going to get our month started out great, which is going to create some wonderful habits that we can carry on into, you know, February, March, April, May, so on and so forth, which will definitely make the whole year beyond awesome. I'm putting that out there now. Like, I'm definitely putting that in the atmosphere. That I want my January to be great so that the other months will see what's going on and get all the way in line. Thank you. Because I ain't taking no look from no month. That's for sure. For sure. <laughs> um, I have to get... Did I get my New Year's and New Year's Eve stickers? Darn it, I can't remember. Like I said, anytime it doesn't work like I want it to, I'm not going to fight. I'm not fighting with no washi this year. Bam. And then I'm just going to go right up the side. And I do have like a super limited amount of space. So I need to pay attention. Pay, pay attention. So it is going to go over the line just a tad. And like I said, slow and steady wins the race. What? What? Bam. Ooh, look how we got, got it started. See, look how we have it started. I think, oh my gosh, this month is going to be so awesome. So we're laying this foundation of this wonderful gold of this glitz and glamour. And then throughout the month, I'm just going to add a couple of pops of color. Like, how cool is that going to be? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Just a little bit. Nothing too crazy and out of control. Just a little bit. Bam. What? Yes, hunty. Like I said, we're setting up our months to be awesome. Therefore, setting up our lives to be awesome. So, 2019 is going to be our year. Now, granted, I know we say it every year. And every year is our year. Because we set goals, we achieve them, we grow, we learn. So, how can every year not be your year? And I know you're thinking, well, you know, I wanted to do this and that, but I didn't get to do it. Okay, that's fine. I mean, unless you are a lazy bum, let's just be honest. Unless you such, you know, you, I want to write a book. That's a great goal, by the way. I want to write a book. Now, if something came up that stopped you from actually writing this book, like something super important, then that's okay. You know, because I'm sure... You were able to do some things to get on your way to writing a book. So maybe it didn't get published in 2019, but I'm sure you have like your draft done. You have your idea. You have your draft. Maybe you got a chapter or two down. That's awesome. You did not achieve your goal. You started it. So now, here comes 2019. And all you got to do is finish it up. So yeah, 2018 was still your year. What? Talk about positivity for you. That's what we're doing all 2019. Speaking nothing but positivity. You hear me? So if positivity is not in your bag, well, I got some bad news for you, buddy. Got a little bad news for you, little buddy. It's going to be a starry year for you. 
All right, but nonetheless, here we are. Here's our foundation for January. Oh, yeah, January. Now, I know you're saying, okay, Lori, you did all this, but you got rid of the January. Okay, well, I have this wonderful tab right here that tells me that it's January, and that's pretty much all I need. Um... If you want to, I mean, because there are stickers from um, Happy Planner and different, you know, wonderful little Etsy boutiques that sell planner stickers. So you can put your January, whichever place you want. You can do it down the side, however you like it. But for moi, this little tab here that says January is all I need and I am good with that. So let's get on to some of the stickers. So like I said, I have these Heidi Spock stickers that I got from my... Uh, Local Macaels. And I thought it would be really cute just to add a little pizzazz to the end of the month. A little flare. A little, a little flare. You know, because we have this area in space. So I was like, let me get, get something going. Bam. And it totally works with what we have going on. Um, like I said, I have to, I'm using my Happy Planner memory keeping with dates and holidays. And I have to find my days. Gosh darn it. That's the one thing I did not mark out was the holla holla holidays. Holla holla holidays. All right, here we go. So I need a Martin Luther King for here. And then, yeah, we can put New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. I'm cool with that. That works for you guys. I'm cool with that. Yup. All right. So this Martin Luther King one is first. Bam, let's get that popping. Rocking, rocking, rocking for New Year's Eve. I'm going to put it a little bit over to the side because I had a little booklet that had a little cheese. Was it this one? Before I show you guys. All right, so I have my, I've got big plans i've got big plans um and this is actually a little recollections sticker book and it has this wonderful little fun going on up here that i want to use for my new year's celebration so i'm going to put this one over to the side a little bit and then i'm going to put my two glasses Cause you know we were like clink clink party party we're gonna have a good time for the holidays the holidays and it comes with these cute little music notes which i thought would be really cool because you know it's so party nope. it's so party What? Look how cute that is. Yes, darling, y'all. Okay. So, I have these cute little fun stickers. Then I'm just going to throw around it. Because, I mean, even though I had to go back to work on the second, yeah, let's not do that. We had to go back to work. So, that wasn't necessarily fun. But we're still having a good time. Bam. Yeah. I love this cute little thing right here. Fabulous. All right. So that's how we celebrate it. There you go. That's how we celebrate it for the New Year. Fabulous, darling. Fabulous. All right, so let's get on into the rest of. So I did have to, you know, the party was over. 
I did have to go back to work. It's whatever. I was there. But living for the weekends. You know, we have to celebrate the weekends. <laughs> they only come once a week. <laughs> you know how much I love the weekends. And anybody else who doesn't admit to loving the mess out of the weekends is completely, totally, and utterly lying to you. Let's just be honest about that. Hello. I'm not going to lie to you, boo. I live for the weekends. All right. So, I just want to, you know, this is your year. And we are 100% going to make this the best year ever. Just because I have that type of confidence in us, to be very honest. Now, now what we will do, though, is, because like I said, we're starting this year off on the right track, on the right foot, and we're going to make sure it's going to be indeed, like, the best year ever. Because, you know, we're growing, we're becoming adults, real adults, doing adult things. So, we're going to set some wonderful goals right right from the jump. Get those in. Yup, yup. Uh, uh, yup, yup. That's right. We're getting our goals in. We're doing our thing. It's going to be awesome. Alrighty. And... Let's just get some things in order as well. So, I like to take a weekend just for myself. Actually, let's do it more on a Sunday. It looks like the end of the month. Me time. A Sunday where I can actually relax. What? Is that, is that a real thing? And let's do some laundry here. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to pile up by then. And then a little bit of laundry here. Love it. See, I told you, I'm going to be so much more organized this time around. Like, you're going to be so freaking proud of me. For real. For reals. For reals. And this says, hello, Friday. I love you. I mean, I do. That's what I'm going to tell Friday. I do. Alrighty. Let's get a little more inspo going on. This says, I can and I will. That's right. Because we set our goals and we're achieving them. What? Is that some inspo for you? For you. How about this one? Do all the things. And I'm just going to take a quick little gander because I kind of want something to go in here. But other than that, I'm actually pretty good to go. Here we got a little bit more pop of color. And this is a year. Why? Because we made it. Like, we made it through the first month of the new year. So why not celebrate? Like, let's be honest. Why not celebrate? Why not get it in? Why not get things popping? Let's mark off some B days. It's my brother's birthday. And he happens to be a New Year's bye bye. Yes, my uh, young youngest brother was born on New Year's Day. Um, like crack of dawn New Year's Day. So let's give a little shout out and recognition there. What what? Yes. Um, I wonder if I have like a back to work sticker. Like, how cool would that be? Or maybe that's something I should create a back to work sticker. Ooh, look, I had work. Yay, at least they work. Um, so in my Planner Basics mini, I found some work stickers. So I'm just gonna put back to work here or first day back. Something like that. But just to acknowledge that we had to go to work that day. <laughs> Chris and I go to work every uh, Monday through Friday throughout the year, throughout the month. But the vacation's over here. So let's acknowledge that. 
So here we are in my personal planner, and I think we've set a really, really great foundation for the month so I can get some things down, have some space to write some things in, some nice little inspo um, with my this is your year and the best of, and then I have do all the things, and I can and I will. Hello. And then, of course, some like quick reminders to get this laundry done while we're celebrating our weekends, y'all. And... Because self-love is extremely important and something that I will be practicing and I encourage everyone to practice. I did schedule some me time towards the end of the month. I thank you ever so much for joining me here, for listening to my crazy foolishness. I hope, hope, hope to see you again. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop them right below this video. I love talking to you guys. If you're a little shyer and you want to talk about something maybe that's a bit more private, feel free to email me. I'll definitely get back to you. Now, once you've done all of that, head on over to my social media, click the follow button, and then after you do that, hit the send message and let me know that you saw the video and you can ask anything and we can get to chat and get to talking and things of that nature. But in the meantime, in between time, a later day.